Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it has taken me a while to bring this review to you, but I have seen within the last few weeks Won't You Be My Neighbor, the Fred Rogers documentary, and if you, you know Fred Rogers, he's the guy from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. He's that generally interesting individual who went out there and taught children and engaged people and, and spread a message of love and joy and was a true genius of media. And this was a documentary that got us closer to who Fred Rogers was. And whereas I have to say I ha I'm happy I watched this, it is really hard to put together a documentary that is as compelling, that is as monumental as Fred Rogers was as a person. And one of the things that it, it said in this documentary, there's this scene where Fred Rogers is out there and he, he's, he's on the show and he's cooling off his feet in the kiddie pool and he, he invites a, a man of recent African descent to join him, a darker skinned man. And the guy says, you know, well, I don't have a towel. And he says, that's okay, you can share mine. And whereas in the modern day, that doesn't mean much, when this was actually filmed, sometime I believe in the 60s, it was a huge deal because you had two people of different races, two people of extremely different colors, who were sharing and treating each other like equals. And in the simple fact of sharing a towel, this man said, you are no different than me. And... Again, he commonly said, I love you just the way you are. So this is, this is a fact that he is showing this incredible level of acceptance with these very simple actions. And it's great that was in the documentary. It was a very interesting thing. And again, there's a lot in this documentary that is just absolute gems. So if you have the opportunity, you must go see this thing. Go rent it, buy it, and whatever have you. However... I will also have to point out that this, this documentary contains religious boobery and, and a, a man's rear end. And in the theater, everybody laughed at the man's rear end, but I don't know if that's really in the right spirit of Fred Rogers. It didn't have anything to do with Fred Rogers. It wasn't Fred Rogers' rear end. It was the rear end of somebody that was on Fred Rogers' show. So there's that. And, I mean, Fred Rogers didn't press the religious side of things, although he was a pastor. So, I mean, to know that about him is important. It wasn't offensive in any way to, I think, any religion that there, this fact about him was known. But here is a man who was a true disciple, as, as I interpret Christianity anyway, where he went out there and he said, you know, I'm going to teach people that, this is about love and joy and acceptance. And that was a great thing about Fred Rogers. And of course, society was not exactly as kind as he was. And they addressed the fact Fred Rogers had a man who was a homosexual on his show and told the man, look, you know, if you come out as gay, we're going to lose our sponsors. Or you can't be on the show. So, you know, it's realistic and sad. But on the one hand, here was Fred Rogers, this truly accepting man that wanted to bring people together. And on the other hand, he was a realist living in a world that didn't bring people together. And this same, same man at some point tells a story of he hears Fred Rogers say, I love you just the way you are. He turns to Fred Rogers and says, are you talking to me? And Fred Rogers says, I was always talking to you. You just finally heard me. And at that point, this homosexual breaks down and starts to cry in Fred Rogers' arms. So, I love documentaries. And there's a car. And I liked this documentary. I'm probably not going to watch it again. But I think I'm a better person for having seen it. So, in my opinion, Won't You Be My Neighbor is something you need to watch at least once in your life. But that's just my opinion, and I'd love to hear yours down in the comments below. I am Richard Leland Neal.